So in this problem, it says the velocity of a fallen object can be found using the formula v squared equals 64h. So the first thing I would do in this problem is rewrite down the problem. Is that OK to do? Does everybody follow me with this? Because I know a lot of students come in and they say that their word problems you know, are giving them trouble. I just wrote down a formula that was given to me. It says um, where v is the velocity in feet per second and h is the distance the object has already fallen. So does everybody understand what h is and what v is? If you're having, problem with, if you're having trouble with that, I would still write, I would write that down. v equals velocity. H equals, was it, um, distance the object has already fallen. So have I completed any math yet? No. I literally, Parker, rewrote down a formula that was given to me and I identified what my two variables were. I believe everybody is able to do that when they have a word problem or when they're given their homework. So let's try to at least do the basics, first of all. The next thing it says, what is the velocity? So if they're asking what is the velocity, velocity represents which variable? V. So which variable should I be solving for? V, OK. And then it says after the object, after a 10-foot fall. So it's saying the object has fallen 10 feet. Which variable does that represent? H. So is it OK for me to go V squared equals 64 times 10. That makes sense. OK. V squared equals 640. How do I solve for 640? Take square root. So V is going to equal plus or minus 80. Now, velocity is not going to be negative. Velocity is always going to be power. It can be in a negative direction, but velocity is never going to be negative. So even though it is plus or minus 80, we're just going to use the positive value. Does that make sense? No? Yes. OK. How much does the velocity increase if the object falls 20 feet rather than 10 feet? So now we would change the problem. So now I'm saying the object falls 20 feet. So velocity equals 64 times 20. Do you guys agree with all I did? It just says, what happens when it goes by 20 feet? Yes? OK, so let's see what happens. Therefore, um, v squared equals uh, 20. Six forty one. Two four. What was it one twenty eight? One thousand two hundred eighty. Right. Okay. Now I need to take the square root. Now I am not going to be able to do that in my head. So let's see what this is. Thirty five point seven seven. Yeah, uh, in this case, since it's like a word problem, they're asking for, you know, the context of the problem is going to make sense to use a decimal rather than simply leaving it as exact form. Um, yes? I didn't get 80. You didn't get 80. What did you get? Because that's not going to be right either. I'm just now thinking about that because 640 times 80 times 80. That's not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> 25, right? 25.29. Yeah, because 80 times 80 is going to be yeah, 6,400. I don't know what else. Um, let's do 2.30. So if here's your first initial velocity, here's your initial velocity at when the has fallen 10 feet. Now here's the velocity when 20 feet. It's asking for what the increase is. So what does increase say? So if during before, um, before break, I made $20, 
and then doing my job, whatever. And then after break, I made $50. What was the increase from before break or after break? 30. So ladies and gentlemen, to find the increase, we're going to subtract our maximum from our minimum and see what the increase is. So the increase that they're asking is 35.78 minus 25.30, and that equals 10.48 or 4.5? Well, I'll do 4.8 and just. Uh, does that make sense, Gavin? Because I don't see. Which, yes.